So what you're saying is you showed this picture to a special effect artist that worked for major Hollywood studios like Tron and he could not himself explain what was in the photograph. Absolutely amazing. I want to tell everybody out there, if you take pictures, you might want to take a second look at them and it's just like Dr. George experiences unusual objects in the photograph. And if you've captured anything amazing, send it to us at Third Phase of Moon. Thank you very much, Doctor, for joining us here. Thanks for your time at your orders. My name is Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again yes, next time. Yes, it is. Holy shit. Can you try to focus? Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and we're here with Alex Player, known as a polished knob right out of Australia. He's an amazing phenom right here on YouTube in regards to alien sightings. In his backyard, he is capturing some amazing footage of yes. alien beings yes, visiting him and his mother in Australia. Alex, thanks for joining us again at Third Phase of Moon. Can you tell us the history of what you've been shooting in your backyard and when it got started? Um, it all started in October 2010 and uh, that was that's for the first time I saw anything and um, it's been continually happening every two, three weeks. Um, sometimes it's been one, one time it was two days apart, other times it's been months apart um, for the last, well, until now, um, up until I think about a month ago, three months, three weeks ago. Hey, can you tell us here at Third Phase of Moon and our viewers, if these beings are malicious in any way, are you scared of them or are they, how are they reacting to this encounter with you and your mother? See, I don't know, I, don't, I obviously I don't know what they're thinking or what they're doing. I mean, you can't treat them like uh, uh, something, like an animal that you know what they're going to do, their instincts, because no one knows what, uh, what they're going to do or anything about them. Um, they've only been aggressive if I've come too close. That's the only thing I've found to be aggressive is if I was too close. If when I've walked into the grass, and they've been there. That, that, that's the only time I've found any kind of aggression. Alex, I have to ask you, would you be willing to come to Third Phase of Moon with more encounters in the future if you experience them and share it with us at Third Phase of Moon so we could share this amazing experience that you're having at the moment in Australia? Yep. I mean, of course I could share anything with you and uh, share. that's why I'm putting them on YouTube to share them with everyone in the world. This is absolutely amazing. Just recently, we made Skype with the Polish knob out of Australia and he's made contact with us at Third Phase of Moon and we're able to share this. The new one, the one on my port, hurry up bud. Pretty sure, pretty sure is that? I can see better with my own eyes than the actual camera picks up. Uh, even, even on night vision, I can, most of the time I can still see better by myself. Um, so I can always see it a bit clearer. Alex, would you consider in the future if we'd be able to bring a camera crew and a major production so we could bring our night vision cameras on location to your spot and see if we could help you out? I, I would, that'd be awesome to have to have all four cameras set up around the house uh, and obviously better cameras. All right, Alex, I want to ask you about these encounters. At points, you are screaming and actually have a Shit. lot of vulgar language, I'd have to say. What is it is in regards to when you're encountering these and you're acting in this kind of manner? Did you say it, Blake? Um, it's just what comes naturally, natural to me. Um, I'm just doing and acting the way I naturally Fuck do. Me. I mean, um, I try as of late, I'm trying to keep it down a bit and stop scaring it away and, you know, screaming at it pretty much. Um, whether it can tell that, that, you know, I mean, I don't think it understands maybe what I'm saying, but on the other hand, they're probably a lot smarter than us and they do understand what I'm saying. So I try to keep it down and not swear so much. Can you tell us, Alex, what was the most shocking or most relevant part that you knew at that moment that what was happening was not normal? Um, definitely when I got pulled through the grass. Um, I had absolutely no control over anything. Like I just, I'm just being pulled. You know what I mean? And and and, and it was just. It was just like I was like on a slide, just sliding. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was probably the most I've been scared ever in my whole life. Um, as I was being pulled away, I got in. I was in the grass and I, I stopped moving. I stood up and then I saw it come towards me through the grass 
and I kind of, um, well, I kind of pushed it off type of thing, if you know what I mean. And it, as, as that happened, it clawed, it, it, something, it grabbed my shirt, as you see, I ran out of the grass and my shirt ripped. Um, if you want to contact me, obviously go to the Polish Knob uh, on YouTube. That's all. Just search it. Um, so yeah, join that. Probably the best way to actually contact me and obviously to watch footage. Go on uh, the Polish Knob. Alex, what would you have to say to anybody that's debunking your videos or say it's a prop in your backyard and you're making this whole thing up? My main thing is recreate it. That's, that's what I think. I mean, you cannot recreate something that is genuinely real. Um, yeah, I mean, no one has ever attempted, I've said it heaps of times, I've said it in videos, recreate it. You know what I mean? Um, especially with, with, you know, with crappy cameras and, and stuff like that. And, you know, I mean, no one, you, you can't really recreate the footage that I've captured. Alright Alex, thanks again for joining us at Third Phase of Moon and we'll keep our viewers updated on more updates from Australia. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousin. Yesterday I received a Skype from Joe Bass. From El Salvador, he captured an amazing UFO sighting in the dusk of night. Thanks Joe for joining us here at Third Phase of Moon. Can you tell our YouTube audience what happened when you spotted this amazing UFO sighting and what was your reaction? I was getting off work where we're setting up some communication towers here in El Salvador. I walked outside and I saw these lights in the sky, and it must be some low-flying airplanes. I kept looking at it, but it wasn't moving like an airplane, and it was different multi-colors undulating in the sky. So I was really freaking out after a while, so I grabbed out my camera phone, started taking some shots of it, and I caught what I caught, but my batteries basically ran out before I could get it really what was going on. But I caught something at least, so it really blew my mind. A couple of people started looking around when they saw me with my camera looking up in the sky. They started looking and pointing at it and just tripping out. And since they were speaking Spanish, my Spanish wasn't that good. I couldn't get just they were saying la luz, la luz in the sky, the lights in the sky. It's pretty much all I could get for them, but they were, they were tripping out also. I'd never seen anything with that kind of lights in the sky. I have no idea, but it was nothing like what I've ever seen. It didn't just travel in a straight line. The colors, un the object was undulating. It didn't just keep a circular shape like you'd think some, the light was changing. I wish I could have had more and I wish I had a better camera basically where I could have got sharper pictures. Thanks for sharing your footage with us at Third Phase of Moon. Thank you. If you've captured anything amazing yourself, you send it to us at Third Phase of Moon. My name's Blake Cousins. We'll see you next time. Yesterday, I received a Skype from Steliano Monifis from New Jersey. He claims he shot an amazing video of a purple aircraft in the sky. Steliano, thanks for joining us here at Third Phase of Moon. Thank you, Blake. Can you tell our YouTube audience what you captured that day when you're at the beach? Well, it was down in Florida at St. Pete's Beach, and there was a big halo up in the sky as we were lying on the uh, on the beach. So I took my iPhone and I videotaped the halo. And that's all that we really saw, which was pretty impressive by itself. Uh, later on, when we got back to uh, 
our home and I uh, uploaded the video on my computer, uh, there was a purple star right along the halo on the rim, but it wasn't a sun, sun glare or anything. You could tell it, it, it just stayed right there. It was pretty amazing because you can see it with the human eye. It only showed up on the phone. We're looking at this video right now. Can you tell me, Celiano, what kind of aircraft this possibly could have been if it weren't a UFO, if you could explain that to us? Oh, well, I don't know if it's any aircraft. That uh, You see the video yourself. Like I said, I didn't see it, it while we were there. I only saw the video. That's all I saw. Uh, the blue, the uh, purple star. It only showed up on the video. Celiano, tell us, how did you come across Third Phase of Moon? Uh, surfing on the internet, on YouTube, and a lot of the videos and a lot of the uh, previous uh, stories that you had that you uploaded, I was watching and I came across your website. Tell me, have we ever met at any other time besides today via Third Phase of Moon and Skype? And what would you have to say to the debunkers that say this is some kind of artificial interview. Well, everybody behind the computer, Blake, says a lot of things. Everybody has an opinion about everything. Uh, instead of giving your opinion, how about opening your eyes? Because what you guys are doing is fantastic. You guys are actually out there. You're on the fly. You're on the net. I sent you an email, what was it, a couple days ago? You got back to me, we already did an interview, you're ready to put it up. You know what, that, that shows how honest you are and how straightforward everything you're doing is. So to all you debunkers out there, you know what, open your eyes because you're walking and sleeping at the same time. Very well said, Celiano. We at Third Phase of Moon have blown this up and analyzed it very carefully and from what we can tell, it is not a star and it is not a reflection off the sun. This is absolutely a genuine UFO sighting. If you've captured anything amazing, like Ciliano, you send it to us at Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Twitter. My name's Blake Cousins and we'll see you again. Third Phase of Moon. Tonight, I'm here Skyping with Joe Rodriguez all the way from LA. He showed up to the summoning by Robert Bingham earlier this morning in Los Angeles and actually captured live on video police officers as they witness UFOs for themselves. Thanks for joining us right here at Third Phase of Moon. Thank you. Thank you. All right.